Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If you are an EMT student or a paramedic student and you're just trying to get a better understanding of cardiology and EMS, I definitely encourage you to hit that subscribe button because I try to come out with every single week a new video addressing a different EMS cardiology lesson. And today we're going to be going over premature ventricular contractions or PVCs. So a quick definition of a PVC is that it is an extra heartbeat or a beat that fires too early from the bottom chambers of the heart, also known as the ventricles. PVCs do tend to interrupt the underlying rhythm of the heart. So let's go over some of the characteristics of a PVC, very similarly to how we go over the characteristics of different rhythms. So your rate, that is completely determined by the underlying rhythm, and the regularity is the same way. Your PR interval is not going to be present, your P wave is not going to be present, and your QRS complex, because this is a beat coming from the ventricles, is going to be very wide. Some causes or risk factors for PVCs are hypoxia, stimulants, stress or anxiety, myocardial infarctions or STEMIs, electrolyte imbalances, sepsis, pain, chest trauma, thyroid abnormalities, hyper or hypoglycemia, and hypovolemia. There are more, but those are your main causes of PVCs. Signs and symptoms that your patient who is experiencing PVCs may feel is is fluttering in the chest, dizziness or syncope, heart palpitations, chest pain, or even shortness of breath. Okay, on the screen here, I went ahead and did two different strips. And the first strip, the number one, is unifocal PVCs. So you can see PVCs that come from one point of origin in the ventricles. So all the PVCs look very similar. And also in number two, you have multifocal PVCs. And those are PVCs that come from multiple points of origin in the ventricles. So you can see in the number two strip that they look very different. They both are PVCs. PVCs, but just coming from different areas of the heart. Before we go into the possible EMS treatments, I just want to point out on this strip right here, you'll notice that there's a PVC every third beat, and that's actually called trigeminy. We'll go into that in the future in a separate video. Your possible EMS treatments for PVCs are a 12 lead, administering oxygen, obtaining vitals, getting an IV, obtaining a blood draw for the hospital. And the main thing you want to remember is to treat your patient and treat their complaint. Many times we get caught up with what we see on the monitor. And it's important to be very aware of how your patient is feeling and to treat their overall complaint. Another thing we can do is to search for underlying causes. So obviously we've done a 12 lead. We can look and see if the patient's experiencing the STEMI. We can see if the patient is hypoxic. We can ask questions about possible infections that may have led to sepsis. We just want to search for the underlying cause and obviously monitor very closely and report the findings to the receiving facility. And just remember three or more PVCs in a row is considered a short run of ventricular tachycardia. And with these patients, you just want to monitor closely for patient deterioration. So just keep an eye on them because a patient can go from having one or two PVCs, having a short run of VTAC, having several short runs of VTAC into full on VTAC. You just never know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.